Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video, I fix a problem with my Prusa MK3S. The hot end came loose, uh, causing some problems printing. So I go in, dismantle just enough of the hot end assembly to have a look and find the problems. And then fix it, of course. Let's go! I have a problem with my Prusa and I wanted to show you guys how to dismantle it and check the hot end. My problem is that the, the hot end is loose. There is something loose inside. I think it's the heat break. That's too far. But let's see. So first I take out. I've put some some washers not to damage the plastic on the part cooler fan. So one screw here to remove the shroud or the fan shroud. Okay. You see? Oh, it seems to be inside this. The heat brake moves. And I'm putting my finger here to see if the doesn't seem to be the uh, the heat sink. The heat sink doesn't move, so the heat brake is moving inside the heat brake. Um, let's see. Okay, we have to remove the screws. At least two screws here. The fan, and then. One screw here. You don't see it, but it's, it's there. And another one here. Then I should be able to remove this part. Like that. Ooh. So to remove this, so I'm gonna remove. Let's let's see. Can we can we do this like this? I'm not sure because of the screen on the front. Would it, would it hold? Okay. So I'm gonna remove the two screws on top that hold the motor and the little door. And hold the motor because it's gonna fall out. Okay, let's move to the front again. Okay, so the motor should be free. Yeah, that's it. So you can remove the motor. Yeah, it's not screwed in correctly. So I only have to screw it in. So, all done to this with the 16 millimeter. Turn this. <laughs> yeah, it's correct. It's holding on now. Okay. Be just clean up. We're at the same place, and you have to watch for the cable here so that it's it's going. It's that way. It's going inside this channel here. So hold on to this. Gently push it back. So two screws on the back, the two on the top, then 
two here for the shroud and, and that's it that's you have four screws to release the hot hand so that's not that bad so you put the, this back you can move the screws if you want to it's easier i think if we push up the screws then insert this and push the screws in that's it then tight but not too tight just a little bit this like this then the two screws one is longer than the other one this one is longer because it's going to grab the shroud here so the small one up and the longer one down then the shroud has a nut inserted here then that goes in to that nut in here and i leave it not completely screwed in then i put back one thing that i like to do because uh, so you see it's old the cables are hold here but they can go out of the channel and when you move the cable up and down uh, when you do some uh, cleaning or when you have to remove that uh, fan you risk uh, those cables to cut at the solder joint plug in the hot glue gun so what i do is I put some hot I put the cable at the right place and I put some hot glue here. So that it's held in place. So you see? It's not gonna move out now. Okay. Now let's put this back with the screw and and the small washer and that, that doesn't need to be really tight just hold in place and then I go back and screw in that one correctly because everything is placed at the right angle it's or else it's gonna you're gonna have to force it to have the right position for the fan so that's it let's check the other two while they're here now let's look if the little door works correctly uh, it's a little too tight so i'm gonna back off the screw a little bit behind it so that we can yeah that's, that's about right yeah. so put back the screw yeah no more movements now it is sturdy so not that difficult to um, make some work on the Prusa you remove the two screws the one below is longer than the one up you remove those two put the fan away maybe put some some hot glue to hold the cables then remove the shroud with this screw and after that you have two screws just underneath here that holds the cap and then two screws on the back the two screws of the motors here so you remove those two screws you remove gently the, the motor and you have access to the whole hot hand and that's how i do it cool so let's put it back in its place
Unplug it. Turn on. Let's see if everything works. Let's unload a little bit of filament left and put back the big roll. That's it. So it's almost almost at temperature. Okay, take out that. Then reinsert. Everything seems to work. Is it moving now? No. Let's see. Extrude some more. Yeah, everything is fine. It's going down, you know, straight. So there is no partial obstruction in the nozzle. So everything is fine. It's gonna be able to print again. Cool. That's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, push the little bell to be notified of new videos, and send me ideas in the comments below. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!